What the pen tool is really good for is drawing curved lines. So if I drop a point and come over here and start to drop a point but don't release my mouse, I can start dragging this line to make a curve, okay? And this is something you'll get the hang of really quickly. Um, if you go up, it curves down. If you go down, it curves up. Um, and it previews what the line is going to show you with that blue line before you drop it. So if I drop it here, I have a fill on, so it's got, it's, it's got this kind of half fill. Um, but I'm going to take that off so that all we have is the line. Okay, so if I, uh, I've dropped two points, if I drop another point, it automatically curves in the opposite direction. So it's going to, you can't really curve up um, yet, but it's going to do this kind of S shape if you want to go down. But if you, it's going to assume that you're kind of going to go with a smooth line. So it automatically does that. And we can just uh, keep drawing like a little curve over here. If you need to go in and edit these anchor points, you just hit A for your direct selection tool and you can come in and move these around and also change the handles. Okay, so I'm just going to try to trace over my little sketch right here with the pen tool. I'm going to start here, Let's zoom in a little bit, come down here and, and try to draw that kind of lower curve. It's just going to be really easy to do a line like this because it's already going in the direction that I want it to go. So the key with the pen tool is to not just drop a point, drop your first point and then hold and drag, okay? Um, it can also do straight lines like I said before and if you want to do straight lines you just don't hold and drag. So I'm going to click, did you see I clicked off that because if I came over here and started it would have continued this line with me. So I just want to end this line by hitting command and that takes me back to either the direct or the indirect selection tool and just click anywhere on the artboard to drop the line that I was working on. Release command, I get back to the pen tool. I'm going to drop a point here and if you don't hit, uh, if you don't drag your line, you just get straight lines all the way. Okay. So zigzags are really easy. So what if you want to draw something uh, like this up here? where the pen tool by nature is not going to be happy with this uh, corner point. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Drop your first point and come over here and just start to drag to follow that curve. And then this one is going to automatically work really great, just like that. But if I try to do this kind of thing, it's just not going to let me get a nice point. So I'm going to hit Command Z. What you need to do is, is with your direct selection tool, deselect this last point. So I'm going to hit the command tool and just click right there. Let me make sure I'm telling you right. That's not working. There we go. I was using my direct selection tool. You have to use, I was using the black arrow tool. You have to use the white arrow tool. So uh, just go back and hit on that. I'm just going to start over for you so that this is not confusing at all. Okay, <laughs> hit your first point, start to drag and drop this curve. This point comes straight down, and then with your, let's see, let's change this so that it looks good. And then with your direct selection tool, just come in here and click on that point right there. Then it's gonna, then it's gonna work for us. I lost that. Okay, so I lost that key. But if you go back and click on it with the pen tool, it picks it right back up. Now you can just start following this curve and back out. Okay, we're going to be using the pen tool a whole bunch. See that curve? This is now a vector and my sketches I can delete. Uh, we're going to be using the pen tool a whole bunch. It's going to be really easy for you to fall in the groove with that. So the pen tool also has a uh, flyout menu. So if you come over here and click on the pen tool, you have add anchor point, delete anchor point, and convert anchor point. 
The Convert Anchor Point tool will turn a point into a curve and a curve into a point. So if I select that and come in here and want to change my point here, um, all I have to do is come in and start dragging and drop, dragging that point and it changes it into a curve. Okay, you can do the opposite as well. Now I'm going to get into adding and taking away anchor points. So if I just want to draw a banner, I'm going to start with a rectangle. I think for this we'll fill it and take away the stroke. So to take away a fill or a stroke, you just hit this white box with a red slash in it, which is none. Okay, so you can see this right here. I have four anchor points, which is all you need for a square. But if I want to make this like a banner, I want to come in here and add an anchor point. So I'm going to zoom in. And I have my smart guides on, so you can see the center here. I'm going to just click once on that line to add an anchor point, and once over here to add an anchor point. Okay, so now I've added two anchor points. If I hit the A um, on my keyboard to get to the direct selection tool, I can come in and grab that anchor point and just start bringing it in. And because I have my smart guides on, it snaps to my center line. You see that? So I can do this on both sides. And in just a second, you know, I made a little banner.